Uh, welcome back to Leighton Zala. Uh, today I'm just going to show you a, a, a little bit of the exercise that I do. I mean, I'm not that young anymore. I'm 56, going on 57. Uh, I try to keep myself in shape the best I can. Uh, I work out with weights. Uh, I do IT training, which is high intensity interval training. Uh, lots of people do it, lots of people do it wrong. Uh, high intensity interval training is, is uh, you go as hard as you can for as long as you can and then you stop until your heartbeat and your breathing returns to normal. And that could be different for each and every person that does it. So yeah, I've watched a lot of videos say, oh, you work out for one minute and you rest for one minute. No, that's totally wrong, defeats the entire purpose of doing high intensity interval training. Okay. Now the benefits of high intensity interval training is, is uh, you burn way more weight, or I should say fat, so you lose more weight. High intensity interval training, it actually boosts uh, your growth hormone, and where growth hormone goes, testosterone goes. So if you're a male, that's a good thing. And it's actually a good thing for women too because they need testosterone, but not as much as men. So uh, usually my high intensity interval training is uh, sprinting. But I've only been able to do that for the last year or so because before that my knees were really bad. So I did a lot of research on how to you know, strengthen my knees because uh, I did a lot of damage to my knees over the years. Uh, I found a guy, well actually, uh, Dr. Berg on YouTube. Uh, he had a guy on his channel who was renowned for uh, working with knees and legs. So they suggested walking backwards and uh, so I went and used like a sleigh over time. Uh, a sleigh is just a, a, well it's actually a sleigh, I made it myself. I started out walking backwards, just walking backwards for about a week. No sleigh, no nothing, just walk backwards every evening before I went in for the night. Uh, and then a, a week later I added uh, probably about 30 or 40 pounds to it and walked backwards with it for about two, three weeks. Uh, now I'm up to about 100 pounds walking backwards in the, the sleigh. Now I do walk forward with the sleigh as well. I don't want my muscles that I work walking backwards being stronger than my front muscles. So, you know, you kind of got to, you know, figure out what, how much of each you need to do. Each individual person is different. Now, these are all just my opinions. Some of it's based on fact, but I, I, I can't tell you what's going to work for you. These are the things that I did that worked for me. Uh, they got me in uh, half decent shape. I lost 50 pounds in a year. Uh, my knees are perfect. My legs are strong. Uh, my arms are a lot stronger. I feel healthier. So yeah, uh, like I said, uh, sprint is uh, my number one high intensity interval training. Uh, I'll show you guys. I'm not going to do any training on this video. I'm just going to show you Everybody knows what a sprint is. It's a full out run, and you run as far as you can, and as fast as you can, then you stop and you rest. Now, my high intensity interval training, I do it three times, three repetitions. For me, when I sprint, I sprint from my greenhouse to the end of my laneway, which is about 500 feet. That's a pretty good sprint, and I mean, that's full out sprint as fast and as hard as I can go. I go up, stop, rest, come back, stop, rest, go up, stop, rest, and then that's it. I just kind of walk back down the laneway. Now there's another one if you can't sprint. Uh, before I was really able to sprint, I used an elliptical uh, because you're getting your upper body and your lower body moving at the same time, which is really good as well. You do that the same way. You do it as hard as you can, as fast as you can, for as long as you can. High intensity interval training, that's what it's all about. And then you stop, rest, until your heart beat and your breathing comes back to normal. But I'll show you another one that you can do too. Uh, if you can't really sprint and you don't own an elliptical, this one works really well too. 
I'm just going to do it for a few seconds. I'm not going to do a full workout because when I do this, it really, uh, I have to stop for a few, for a minute or two to get my breath back. So I'm just going to show you. This is one that I do, or I used to do. That one is almost as good as sprinting because you're doing pretty much the same motions but you're not working quite so hard. You're not working as many muscles, but it's still a good one. Even for that like 20 seconds I just did, my heart rate did go up a little bit, but not much. But yeah, I just thought I'd do this video uh, for some of the older people out there. Don't ever feel intimidated if you can't do everything that somebody else can do. You know, it takes time to get there. And the thing is, is once you get you know, at that 50 year mark, it takes a, a lot more work to maintain and build muscle. When you were younger, you work out one, two, three times a week and it's fine, but I have find now that where I'm pushing 60, I need to work out every day, which I do, but I, I don't, see for me, uh, I don't work out to build or to become a bodybuilder. I, I don't work out to get giant muscles or anything like that. I just want to stay toned and in good shape. Which I try my best at. Uh, you know, like everybody else, I cheat and sometimes I'll gain some weight and sometimes I'll lose some weight. But yeah, most of the time I do not use heavy weights. I don't recommend heavy weights for anybody that's over the age of 50. I mean, that's, uh, that's just something I recommend. I'm not telling you not to do it. But I find that if I use too much heavy weights, the, the next day and my muscles aren't so much sore as my joints are sore. So I find if I do light weights, uh, I still get the same workout. Uh, my muscles stay toned. Uh, it keeps me in decent shape. I'm not in no perfect shape by any stretch of imagination. Uh, but yeah, like that, my weight, my curl weight is like 30 pounds. That's pretty much what I use for my curls. Uh, I do for like my pull downs and stuff like that, I do 100 pounds, but that's not very heavy for me. Uh, like I can do probably 50 pull ups. I don't do them too much because, like I said, that pull ups is a lot of weight for me. That's 175 pounds, so I don't do a lot of that. So yeah, it, this just keeps you healthy. And, and uh, there's two things most people need to understand. Carbs are bad for you. I mean, it's pretty hard to go through life and not eat any carbs. I, I mean, unless you're really strict to it. I, I just, I don't eliminate carbs. I, oh, I don't eat a lot of carbs. I try to eat as few as possible. But I do enjoy food, I love food, and that's one of my biggest problems. But now sugar, I try to eliminate that completely, but that's almost impossible as well, because just about everything you eat now has sugar. But I mean, I'm fortunate because we grow most of my own food. So yeah, like we prepare, prepare meals every day. We don't eat out of cans. I understand some people have to. Uh, with the price of food nowadays is absolutely crazy. I, I think it's a, a, a sad situation the way the world is going right now. But that's another topic. I don't want to get into that. This is about being healthy and trying to stay in shape the best that you can. So yeah, like uh, this, I'm just talking about HIT today. And I, I think HIT is a fantastic way to get in shape when you get older. But don't, like, I, my biggest suggestion for people 50 and over is don't overdo it. Uh, but now when I say that, that doesn't mean underdo it. It's still a lot of work. I work out 20, 25, 30, 40 minutes every day. It all depends. Like, I work to the point where I was like, yeah, I had enough, and then I stop. Because I'm not in a competition. I'm not in it to build muscles for showing off or anything like that. I'm in it to keep me healthy uh, so yeah that's the most important thing I can see about uh, staying in shape is uh, you know you get to enjoy your grandkids longer and 
you know, you're able to do things with your grandkids, uh, probably when, that you couldn't do with your teenage kids if you start getting in shape now. Well, yeah. Uh, okay, I don't want to keep rambling on. You guys are probably tired of listening to me talk anyway. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, maybe leave a comment on what your uh, thoughts are of uh, high intensity training. Uh, worked for me great. So yeah, thanks for watching again.